bold problem, with lead problem, with authorizing problem. Somebody say lead problem. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do this Sunday and I'm going to make the Lord do next Sunday. We're going to praise the Lord. I'm going to sit down with this. We're going to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to sit down with this. Okay, let's go to Luke 13. Someone said, God is good. Someone said, look at me. You got your take out, God is good. Come on, look at this one. said, look at me. You got your take out, God is good. Do it all. If you want to see all of you know what I've been through, you probably will cry. I don't have time to tell you my story. My story. Every week is something. Every other day is something. They can change the job. They can change the finance. They can finance. They can help. They can help. They can help. There's something always going on. They love it. They're always picking on me. Because you pick on them. Because you're not. Enough is enough. 
Enough is enough. People just go get jobs like they ain't nothing. It's a fight. It's a fight for the Christian. It's a fight for God people. I shot my boy. It's a fight to get a job. Fight to get a promotion. Fight to get money. Fight to get a loan. Fight to get a house. Fight to get a job. I'm gonna give you a little bit of money. This one make it more. These people got billions of dollars. And they need enough over. And there was a lie going to say, you're going to be the head and not the tail. The book is not the knee. You're going to be the owner and not the pirate. I'm coming, you're coming up on that job. I'm coming, you're coming up. I speak it to the airway. I speak it to the spirit realm. And I speak to the flesh realm. And I release promotion to come forth right now. In the name of Jesus, in the Holy Ghost, let go, walk, shout, lie. God, I say, boy. But the book of Romans said that you send your spirit. The such is our thing. Such that job. Such that promotion. Such that loan. Such that money. Such that bill. Such for God people. It's time for God people to come up out of struggling and bondage from paycheck to paycheck. It's time for God people to be blessed. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time to go to the top. It's time to be. It's time to go to the top. It's time to have your own office. Executive office. I speak executive office. I speak uh, executive office. I speak uh, executive office. I speak promotion. I bind the enemy. I bind the wish to walk out the second power. Rules of dog that puts the powers in the airway. Trying to block them and stop the promotion. I release it. I come to put out strongholds. I come to Somebody said, Break it. Break it. Somebody said, Break it. Break it. I can't hear you. Break it. 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 You are somebody that didn't have to live in your mind and your thoughts, tormenting your mind, frustration, and giving up, and suicide, and leaving time. I rebuke the spirit right now in the name of Jesus. I speak peace to the mind, stress, frustration, unhappy, bitter, angry, frustration, oppression, depression, panic, sensitive problems of the enemy. I come against it. Rulers of darkness, I come against it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because I come give you peace to your mind. Someone say peace. Peace to the mind. I come give you peace. Because I come to give you peace. We're going to close out with Luke 13 and 11. I'm going to do the bubbles. That's what we're doing next week. We're going to get it out of the way. The bubbles. The bubbles. Therapy. You got to go to therapy with the bubbles. You exercise for the bubbles. Bubbles in church. Knock out of prayers. Knock the right all in your neck, your legs, your knees. Anyone want to go down the step? Shop and some breath. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to get elevated. I don't think we're going to do that for the steps. So the team on the elevator, we're going to steps. I need you to get the bottom. After I was attacking people's legs, your bones and your jerks. Amen. I'm going to finish this up today. It's just, I'm going to be able to do it next time. Go to Luke. Hold Luke 13 and go to Psalm 6. Go to Psalm chapter 6. Someone said, God is good. Psalm 6, chapter 6. 
all around and play with. Sure. And me and my mom go, oh, I got all around. I didn't even wish she'd been like that. She always said her legs hurt. I didn't even wish she'd been like that. Until I got it. I don't have it no more, I'm gonna take that. Let me take this and not in the pills and we get going this girl. And we can just fix this up, my little baby. Let me fix it up. It's not in the pills. Pills ain't getting going through. See, my ain't getting going through today. It's God that do the healing. God healed me and I'm taking the pills to keep the healing. Keep up the big God in prison, man. God healed me and I'm praying for all around here every day. I'm bound it up. Go ahead and correct me. No, I'm going to need a chair. Not the wheels. I'm getting you behind the other wire every day. He told me to heal you. Amen. Well, you got me on my leg. I like my heels. Amen. Just shout out to the black shoes. Amen. Shout out to you. Amen. Hallelujah. But God, y'all won't pray long enough. Who mm. well, I'm about to talk to the rich man. See, you do read the problem is you're not, you're not praying long enough. By the time you do pray, he's he getting ready to talk. Tell him to stop. Lord, we're speaking your ear game. He'll speak the word to you. You already have discernment, and you feel discernment what to do and what not to do. And sometimes God hold on, quicken you when you sin, but you do it anyway. <laughs> oh, come on, talk to me. I'm going to go out in the way. I'm going to push my out in the way. I'm going out in the way. I'm going to get drunk in the way. Amen. I don't think he ain't saying I'm going out with in the way. He ain't saying I'm going out with in the way. So, how about you putting you when you stand with your own body? Then we get big, you're going to cry. <laughs> oh, the big coming. The big boy, you're going to be big. Look at this one. I don't got big. I don't have enough. I can't do it no more. Do it no more. Psalms chapter 6. Let's go to verse, verse 2. Have mercy. Upon me, O oh Lord, if I am weak, O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My bones are what? Vexed. What vexed me? Destroyed. Come on, talk to me. I told you I'm ready for you. I'm going to get my step. Then your bones and your other eyes. Your bones are being destroyed. You know, we drink too many. And I, I, did, I, do, I do know you, it's good to drink. The light drink is bright in the JL still the cold. The dark drink. I'm, I'm still on the dark drink, but I'm into the process. Amen. 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 I ain't dead yet. I stopped buying cocoa losers. I ain't buying no more cocoa. And I went back and bought some more. <laughs> First I got a little six pack. Say six pack. Six pack. After the day after that, I went and got a case. <laughs> But I had gotten this number, but I went back and said, well, you went back. At least my test these on to different drink. Y'all can work for big stuff. Y'all got that big stuff to do, but I'm going to have a little drink. Amen. So what happened? Our bones come from, uh, I would tell my daughter, I would say, well, I got all this stuff going on from my mama. She's a no My mama had, she got big hot bridge, I was authorized to. She's a no she said, 80% is, uh, lifestyle. Your lifestyle. 80% is your lifestyle. And 20% of the inherent with in the gene. So the 20% is a little poop in your mommy and dad. Because we don't eat right. Some of us are weak. We don't eat right. We like that. We don't want all the bad stuff to taste good. I love it that. Whole chops and fried chicken. All the stuff tastes good. That's what you're eating. You know, baked. Every day I gotta have this pie. Every day I gotta have some chicken. You know, you know, talking about every day, every day, and then my husband getting on me. He said, I eat too much sweet. Every day I gotta have some sweet. Amen. Too much sweet. You get up there all the time. Amen. So I got between my 
my daughter and husband from getting up, I'm from getting down. So what's I'm getting down. So you got, we got to eat right. Our body, our body come from information. We got too much information on our body. Amen. We're not eating right. You put all this stuff in our chips, corn chips, all this stuff in our body with information. Sickness, infirmities, right? And then we're not drinking no water. So now what, what did they say? Have mercy on people. Someone said, God, have mercy on me. Oh, Lord, for I am weak. Now stand up for me. Now you, you're still doing some stuff you shouldn't be doing. Let's say, oh Lord, I am weak. I am weak. I am weak. I am weak. Help me. You know, you'll be delivered till you get tipped. Oh, where we going this morning? Oh, I ain't went off in a long time. Wait till the right person come. Amen. I ain't dating in two months. And now in two weeks, two more came the third week, you gone. You ain't dating no delivery in two weeks. You just never got anybody met you yet. You don't know until you meet somebody. Someone said, someone said, God, I am weak. Help me to do right. Power, to put a wrong my power. So every time I go do right, evil is present. Somebody in your face, you're going to go off on. And somebody in your face, you're going to go out with. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. We're going there. Paul said, everything he said, he said, everywhere I go, evil is what? Present. So everywhere you go, evil is present. You have to conquer evil by saying no. Amen. So that's what you got to say. So, somebody said, God, yeah. I am weak. I am weak. Help, me. Help me. And be strong. Be strong. And pass these tests. Yeah. 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 And see, whatever you, let me tell you something. Really, whatever you weak in, you're going to be tempted at war. Yeah. If you got an anger problem, you're going to all be tempted with anger. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> You got a, a weak problem for God, and it'll be always in your face. Amen? Well, it depends on your weak area. Whatever you're trying to, you know, whatever you're trying to, let me tell you something. You know that whatever time you're trying to deliver something, whatever you're praying to get delivered from, it be in your face. You're being a temple in the ball. Can I talk? Can I get an amen or something? Can I get an amen? Look at somebody say, you know, 
Everybody always tell me, what about me, what about me? Everybody got a problem. Everybody got something going on. Amen. Look at this one. Say, what about me? Luke uh, 13. Oh my God, I felt them promotions coming down in the spirit. I felt that thing go. I saw something break in the spirit. The devil is alive in high places. Trying to take your promotion, take your job. The devil is alive. Looks at poor and poor water. I'm flowing. I'm supposed to do healing. He goes, say, I want you to put out the promotion. Amen. And who I went on promotion, raise your hands up there. Raise the man. I'm waiting on one too. Amen. Amen. Get them hands up. I'm waiting on one in the spirit. Amen. Y'all waiting on the job. Well, I got a job. I'm waiting on promotion. You waiting on You waiting, right? As soon as I'm waiting on my executive job, my own office desk, I'm going to be the head and not the tail, the butt and not the knee. Look at somebody say, I might hide you now. I might hide you now. You never know. You got to do me right. 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 You put the application in with me now, you're doing me wrong. You don't know what you're going to take around there. Like. You don't know who I am. Look at this, like, you don't know who I am. Go to the beginning yet. You're going to see how you treat me first. Verse 13. Now we did we get back on healing service. 13 and 11. Luke 13 and 11, brother Pat. So it's a Luke 13 and 11. 13 and 11. <laughs> Come on, give God the praise, somebody. Come on, take a thank you. And behold, there was a woman which was bowed together and could in no other wise lift up herself. Now, 13 and 11. And behold, yeah. there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could no otherwise lift up herself. Okay, she was bowed. So how she was bowed? Like this? Like what? I didn't try to do it. Get up, get up. She did it. Get up. Get up. How she was bowed like this? Oh, come on, hold that. Mom, stand up and do it. Hold, hold that. Hold yourself down. She was bowed. She was bowed, but you get to think you like it for 18 years. You think your test hard. Man. You think your test messed up. She bowed for 18 years. That's something to think about. Say that on my phone. You know, she bowed down for what? And look at that. Look how your body feels. You didn't even get nothing. <laughs> and it said she was bowed that home. And you worry about your bones. And she was bowed for 18 years. Whatever you're going through, that's thousands of billions of people worse than you. Amen. Look at this one that says billions of people are <laughs> probably <laughs> worse than yours. <laughs> now she was bowed down for 18 years. Come on. You know, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity. She was sick. Infirmity mean what? Sickness and disease, infirmity. 18 what? Years. And was bowed together and could in no wise lift herself up. She couldn't even lift herself up. She had to bow down to eat, bow down to put her clothes on, bow down to drink. I don't know how you, you know, I guess they put it in the bathroom, I don't know. Probably shower, yeah. But she bowed down. She, come, she bowed down. So she probably took a shot. Amen. 18 years. Come on. We talking about healing, right? We talking about healing ministry, right? Healing service. She bowed down for 18 years. Amen. Amen. 18 years. And look what happened. 18 years. She couldn't hold herself up. And verse 12 says, what, well, brother? Up here. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. He called her and said, Woman, there are loose. 
And look at somebody say, God gonna lose me today. God gonna lose you today. You've been tied up. You've been bound. Hallelujah. But God gonna lose you from that other ride today, from that infirmities. Amen. Yeah. Amen. In verse 16 it says, And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan have bound? Lord, these 18 years be loose from this bond on the Sabbath day. Okay, now Satan attacked her. Some sickness come from not eating right. Some sickness come from gener 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 amen? generation. Generation. And then some sickness come from the enemy attack you. Then the devil attacked her. When it says she was bound from who? Satan. Satan put it on her. A lot of stuff the devil put on people and you, have to, you get in church, this stuff will get off you. Amen. You're not in church, you, you're walking around bound 18 years. Amen. Come on, talk to me. The anointing here today to heal. Everybody don't come and get their healing. Everybody just want to lay in the bed and sit there and die. Lay in the bed for 20, 30 years, never get healed. Never get delivered. Never go get no help. You got to go with the healing now. Yeah. If you want to understand, you go to the Satan place, not to the Toyota place. If you want to heal, you got to go where the healing taking place at. Healing taking place at population rich with the healing of God. Lord, I'm known to heal, to deliver, to break through, to bind up witchcraft. Come on, talk to me. Yeah. Amen. Now we're going to do this authorized thing. We're going to do this last next week. We're going to do it the next that way. Amen. Amen. This authorized things. This authorized things. Leg problem, back problem. Just come on up and do your legs. Get that way. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to get it out of the way now. Go let the man of God take over Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. Hot so to hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Authorized. You know we got authorized. I can tell by the way you walk. <laughs> Come on, give God the prayer. Authorize the bone charts. Bone prop. Neck bone. Make it to the knee bone. Knee bone. Knee bone. Check this one. I'm going to be running. Someone running. I'm going to be running. I'm going to run up the steps. And then when you sit in the chair, what it is, put them up and down. You know how you sit in the chair? When you sit in the TV, you put them in up and down. Exercise. Oh, yeah. Up the rises. Come on, pray the mother color. Come on, mother color. Come on, and all. Pray the mother down first. Come on. I'm not reach up. 